Hey guys, how you doing? It's a wonderful sunny day here at Bain Farm. Uh, but I guess you can imagine by the pile of tools, a minor issue. <laughs> um, well, yesterday I mowed some hay. That was Sunday, July 16th. Perfectly thinking that it might get rained on. I'm not trying to make it rain. But at some point, I got to get some hay done. So it'll be round bales for the cows. Not worried about. I mean, worried about quality, but it's staying here. I'm not worried about anybody else having to feed it to their animals. And well, if you look down here, there's no wobble box. We pulled it out. Wobble box is fine, but we broke two of the. Well, by we, I mean me, since I was driving. I guess it's all on me breaking it two bolts that hold the wobble box in. One of them broke off and left a stub of a bolt in the box. The other one broke off and left a stub of a bolt in the frame. Now, a few years ago, probably was a few years ago now, we put a new wobble box on it because we broke the little shaft off to drive the reel. There's a chain that gets wedged back in there. That's a pain to deal with. Um, and I didn't think to put new bolts in to hold in to reuse the old bolts. That's probably what got me. So I stopped when I noticed the reel stopped moving because the chain jumped off because it was wobble box was wobbling. And only after putting the chain back on did I realize, or then I watched it run, that the wobble box was loose. Like, well, call it quits. I was almost done with the field anyways, so that was good. But of course, I'm trying to mow more hay today. The weather's opening up, and I'm stuck here playing Shade Tree Mechanic. So we'll see how this uh, easy out works for us. Now the last, I already tapped and got the stub of the last bolt out of its hole. So that's fantastic. Um, but that one is still loose. Now we put some Loctite on when we put them back in, or maybe it was Permatex. We didn't have any Loctite, so I've just been using Permatex. It works against vibrations pretty well, which this is a very vibratory part. Well, it was so loose. Oh, geez, there's all sorts of dust. Man, I hope there's still some threads left of this thing. Come on. That one's deep. Oh, I know why. There's a nut on the other side of this plate here. That's a you know half inch thick chunk of plate. And what New Holland is, they welded a nut. So there's no threads here. That's why that one's broke off so deep. If I can find the center of the bolt. Hopefully the center. Come on, don't move. I'm hoping this goes as well as it just did. Right. So I'm using an eighth inch drill bit. It's not the quite the size recommended for this tap, but I got it to work before. It really is supposed to be used like a 5 16 or something. So, but that one turns so easy. Put that in. Use whatever you got for a hammer. Get it in there. And I hope for the best. I have to drill a bigger hole. Plus, I can't see down here. Yeah. Oh, geez. And that might be the person wanting to know, where are you at? I am hopefully saving $1,000, so I don't crack the, fr the gearbox for the wobble box. Okay, wonderful tour through the garage. This is the back side of our wobble box. It sits against our big chunk of plate for our framing. This sprocket drives the reel. What we had break off was this, uh, you can kind of see, there's the flattened part that sits over. But this one broke off in there. And this bolt, this is the one I'm tapping out now, hopefully with our easy out, right there. But the black paint, it says reman on it somewhere there. So it's our somewhat new 
Wobble box. Yeah, we'll take a quick tour of mom's flowers along the front of the house. They look wonderful. Makes the house look nice. Now that wobble box, along with our rebuilt cutter bar last year, shoot, it's like we almost have a practically new machine comparatively with all the parts we put into it. So. Let's see, just registered crops today with the county farm office, farm service agency. Oh, that's always fun. See, as I'm renting, it seems as I'm renting all this ground and some people are just a handshake deal. Most people wanted it in writing, but some people are okay with just a handshake deal. Oh, why won't, what the? Oh, come on. Yeah, I love the ratchet settings on the drill. So that was an interesting ordeal. I feel like every time we go down there, they're like, oh geez, here come those BAME people. We were there for over an hour, because they were like, and I also farmed, picked up this field, and this one, like, oh, we gotta go look that up, we gotta go look that up, and we can't get paperwork for them, and uh, what am I gonna get out of it? An hour and a half, actually three hours after driving there and sitting in the office, I've wasted time, because they're at the other end of the county from us. Okay, back to work, and stuff. And what will I get out of it? I don't know. If beans have a bad year, maybe they'll throw me some money for beans. Since all of my fields have been beans, beans, beans. The musical fruit, the more you plant, um, I don't know. The worse you look. Well, hopefully that's enough. What I had pre-drilled, it cut through like butter, and then we hit a wall. Oh. I do have bigger hammers out here. Okay. Hopefully that's not just bottoming, bottoming out. Now I gotta drill a deeper hole. Yeah, time I need a real wrench too. Uh, we got one of those. Good old crescent wrench. This one's even a crescent brand crescent wrench. Not that you can see that anymore. I was watching uh, Ted Kaler's video the other day of how fast he could change uh, his knives on his disc bind. Well, this isn't quite the same. But I thought it'd be cool to see how quick I could change the knives, but I don't need to do that right now. Well, I'm playing with a cutter bar. It's going to get bolts. And this is my checking method. Feel the teeth. I like the over serrated. I don't like the under serrated one bit. I don't know why. I mean, here's an under serrated one, but it just somehow automatically feels smoother than an over serrated one. Mostly because when you're cutting, like it's sloped up, so you'll be pulling it up. This one, it's serrated underneath, but the sloping action, it pushes it up. It doesn't seem as sharp. And I found this little guy too. Does that thing look mean? Come on, focus. Little green spider guy. But look at the claws, or his long legs, like holy cow. He's all leg compared to his body. If you're a little ant or something, man, he'd take you down. Whew. Okay, so just my fun and bugs. Bunch of little 7 16 bolts. If I was really on top of it, yeah, I could be really quick at this. I guess I'm not that fast. If I wanted to do the whole bar, I'd put something on the impact and go boom, 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 pick them all off. But I'm extra careful down here because these have longer stud bolts through them. And they're easier to break off. So I just lifted our connector loose that goes onto the wobble box. And since Dad isn't back yet, and I want to make sure we're getting this project moving as quick as possible, I broke that off. But that's been broke for actually a couple of fields now. 
I was out in the middle, I hit a stump and broke it off. Well, when I was out there, I couldn't find a single sickle in the toolbox on this thing to replace it. So I took this very close one, since it's usually not mowing much, it's right at the edge of the cut, as long as I just don't get as close by like two inches, you won't even tell. So this is what I broke. And since Dad's getting more, should be getting more, I hope. If not, I got a spare sickle I can dissect. I'm gonna put a good one from somewhere out here in the middle, back in this place and get this all tightened back up so we're ready to go. Which, since I've already taken these ones off in a line... Hmm... This one's sharp, but we'll leave this one. I don't need a good one right there. Carefully tighten. Don't break off the stud. Jeez. Oh, that's Brad. I think he's telling me about some tractors he saw while he was out driving around. Maybe I'm trying to upgrade too fast too soon, but or maybe it's my youth driving me to try to oh, be a little bit of a go-getter and upgrade quickly, I guess. Jeez. Somebody's blowing up my phone. Yeah, that one's sharp enough. See, you know, there's that dirt on top. Probably should try to scrape that off as best as possible so the seat's down properly. Somewhat sharp edge there. a little better. It doesn't look better, but it feels smoother. Sits down on there. Line up all our holes. And get our nuts to start. Okay. One by one. Put them back on. Such a lovely day. Ooh. Man, I'm thinking about things I want to talk about, but I need to have a different setup of videos. Let's just, just remind myself. I'm sure Brad might cut a bunch of this. But I got some weeds we need to look at that I'm mildly worried about that are coming up that I haven't noticed before around here. So that's not good. <sighs> I wonder how much dirt is tightened into that. That sounds a little crunchy. <sighs> sounds very crunchy. Twist the other. Oh. <clears throat> 
thought we came out sort of like this. Yeah, I know. You're trying to go the other way. Yeah. Past one leg. Okay. Get something to jam underneath this thing. I got it, I think. Maybe. Sit there. I don't know. Will let I go. No. Will it? I don't know. All it's right. trying to twist out. No, I don't like that. Neither do I. <sighs> um, something. But, there. Here, let that hold that. All right. Okay. Listen up. If I don't let go, we can hold it. Oh. That's the only annoying part now is that our sprocket stay on. Yeah, it stayed on. Okay, well, that's, I guess, as long as we can get back through to it. The other fun part will be putting our chain back around it. Well. We'll drop the chain down along the side of it and around it and then put the the bolts in. Then put the bolt in. Yeah. Put it around your sprocket the right way and stuff. This last. What? Oh, putting it on the big sprocket up top. Okay. So I have enough play to get out there. Getting both arms in. And you need to lean it back? No, just hold on. Okay. okay. I'm on. Lean it in. Okay, finally got the wobble box back in place. Got a bit of our handy dandy blue rubber, uh, silica, you know, whatever. Blue stuff, not really thread seal, but close enough. Or thread lock. <sighs> the floor jack was a great idea. Weaving through the reel is even more fun. I've already got these lined up. Just making sure they don't go anywhere. So between lock washers and thread seal. There's one hidden in there. That was fun to get started. Just kind of stick the bolt in there, put the socket on, and hope it's not cross-threaded. It turned in easy enough. And watch that one spin coming from the other side. And we gotta put our bolt back on. That's how we're able to get the box back in the uh, whatever, just sort of a half inch of washers and bolt cap in there. We're slowing us down enough. Plus 100 pounds of gearbox. Well, it weren't very easy to get back in. Blue goo. Oh. Okay. Uh, where's our 
bolt for the back side of that sprocket. Are you laying on it somewhere down there? And, um. the, and the best part is uh, we should still be around our sprocket, which is usually the hardest part. That lovely bolt sticking up keeps it all from turning. What? The bolt you stuck through the flywheel. Yeah, I know. I'll just tell everybody on the camera. Oh. Okay, so I can go ahead and tighten up the chain for the reel and tighten the bolts on the counterbalance weights.